That's right. Well, a lot of folks on Sunday were rallying in Washington, D.C., billing it as the largest gathering of climate-conscious people in history, all set to march through the nation's capital to get the attention of Congress. And by the looks of the crowds, as you can see here, they may, achieve, may have achieved their goal. Our own Dave Malkoff spent the day in the ranks and uh, with all the people who came across the country to march on the Capitol with this message. I just want to say thank you so much, all of you being here. Film actor Rosario Dawson and thousands of her friends under the Washington Monument have a message for their leader. This is my son, Eric, who's a seven, and my son, Andrew, who's eight. It's their generation who's going to live with these warm winters and these terrible storms. Welcome to our nation's capital. Rhode Island Democratic Senator Sheldon Whitehouse is a man fighting against the machine here on Capitol Hill. We've got to do something about the carbon pollution that is causing it. And my experience is that up the street in Congress, the polluters own the place. This is a town where money talks, but so do big crowds and movements. You could be hurt if you have this many people. We need to keep growing the movement. This is the largest rally on climate change in U.S. history. This protest brought one key message to the White House door. They want the Obama administration to kill an estimated $5 billion pipeline that would bring crude oil from Canada to Texas. Many lawmakers want the president to move forward on the northern expansion known as Keystone. Stone XL because it would create so many new jobs. That is not the resounding message here. The first and biggest test of the president is to make sure that he rejects the tar sands pipeline because we know that clean energy would do a better job. And we will fight it together. Bill McCribbin also helped put this march together. Like a lot of people here, he wants the president. We will respond to the threat of climate change. To act on his words from less than one month ago on this same spot. Make no mistake, he's going down in history based on what he does or what he fails to do. And I think that it's become um, a symbol for the for the broader issues related to climate change. Most people here voted for the president. A handful are lifelong Republicans. I'm a constitutional conservative. I'm not a left left wing anti drilling lunatic like they like to pitch us as. The challenge will be pushing any green energy legislation through a deeply divided Congress. You've got to actually help create the political environment, which that becomes not only important but necessary in the same way that immigration became an issue that became necessary for Republicans to deal with. I think that we're going to see the same thing with the young people who are here. It's fair to note we did put in a phone call to TransCanada, the company that runs the Keystone XL pipeline. They did not grant our request for an on-camera interview. At the White House, Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel. It's interesting how the, literally the drumbeat for this is yeah. getting louder and louder. I mean, it's an. I, I need to read more on it to, to be honest with you. But going right through the center, you know, it could uh, leak and cause some problems. All right. Well, coming up.